Welcome back everyone, Quistine here on Series Game, continuing my let's play of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. War in North America from Tuesday, February 20th, 1781. The past year brought Britain both victories and defeats. We defeated Holland. The war is still going on, but after the Battle of Dogger Bank, they are just sitting in their own ports. In the rebel colonies, our army under the command of Charles Cornwallis suffered a series of defeats and ca capitulated near Yorktown. Being surrounded on the ground and blocked from the sea by the French squad and uh, de Grasse. Gibraltar is still under siege but is holding on and rebellions caused by exorbitant taxes are breaking out in the Spanish colonies. But in general things are bad. We lost the Bahamas and Florida, in fact almost all of the West Indies are now Spanish. So things are pretty terrible. We do have a battle and two, um, uh, two signed missions. Anyway. So, the Ontario Express, although the rebels have been shattering us for some time, it seems the French have also arrived. It would appear the Admiral's uh, fears were justified. If we decide to engage the French, the Americans will be able to catch up and engage our already overwhelmed uh, forces. Well, we'll see about overwhelmed forces for now. Just going to make sure that my ships have all that they need. I have the HMS uh, Abragante. Okay, it's all good. And we will go in. That should give me access to some better cannons. Like, I'm gonna have to start using my reputation to actually buy weapons. Anyway, uh, I'm going to deploy my four ships, 188 cannons, uh, 10, uh, 1,000 men. Okay. My squadron has spent the last four days escorting army transports in Sao and Hillsborough from British Columbia to the coast of Georgia. The rebels have completely lost their fear of our navy. Their coast guard squadron, poorly armed vessel of the worst quality, brazenly trailed us just out of range. I can't leave the transport without protection, so I have had to ensure endure their presence. Until now. More sail. Actual fighting ships, and these are French. Hopefully we'll have the strength to send them to the bottom. We'll see about that. And we should. Like, yeah. We do have a problem in the sense that we also have the Americans to deal with. The US Coast Guard is trailing us. Wonderful situation. But I have actual warships. Now, the Americans, being the devils that they are, will, of course, not be content to leave things be. So they'll decide to go help their allies. Of course, this is during the American Civil War, so of course the Americans are going to be complete lunatics. I know, trying to take down the most powerful nation on the planet, with arguably the most powerful navy at this time period, just reeks of insanity. Anyway, so I do have these tr two uh, troop transports, so they've got a lot of troops on them. No cannons, so they do have the ports for that. Anyway, I can actually use these ships for um, for the sake of boarding action, but I probably be it would probably be recommended to avoid that. I do obviously want to get my hands on this baby, the 500 uh, ship with 68 cannons in its own right. So, and there you don't get much more bigger than that, really. I mean, you do get second rates and all that kind of stuff, but at this point, it's unlikely that I'll find larger ships to deal with. Anyway, so, uh, going to slow down a bit. Yeah, I'm going to turn 
Actually, I'll just turn the Mercedes around. <laughs> What's the American Coast Guard going to do exactly against my my ships? Alright, the Cornwall. That's a bad idea, by the way.
Well, the coast, USS Coast Guard is certainly doing a lot of damage over there to the Nassau. I got the 68 gun ship at least. That's the benefit over there. Took a lot more damage than I would have liked, but mission complete, I suppose. Anyway, uh, yeah, gonna get damage control so that my ships do get some kind of repair then, because they'll need it. I have accrued a significant amount of trophies, haven't I? Well, I guess we're gonna see what the coastal service brings us. Probably nothing good, really. <laughs> yep. But anyway. I mean, does it, uh... Mm -hmm. At this stage, honestly, I'm tempted to just sell the bloody Mercedes. Yeah, it's still worth uh, taking those guns out. Yep. No, you can't actually remove. All right. With respect to the Batista, I'm starting... <laughs> yeah, the HM... The USS Restoration is probably actually a better bloody choice than the Batista, so I'm selling that bloody ship. So... You never know. Hmm. Just keep in mind, a lot of the missions that I do have, probably... I have money, so I'm not really in a hurry right now. And if I actually do need money... Gotta repair that, get the optimal crew, that kind of stuff. Six-pounder Armstrong gun. Hmm. 
Gonna need some research over here. About 100 men per unit, I'd say, should be do the trick, give or take. I haven't seen a need yet to go further than that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yep.
Well, suddenly uh, all that stuff that I've been doing pays off. All right, so 180 over here. All right, on to the next chapter. Well, a frigate or two corvettes. Hmm, new French made frigate, I take two, sure. See what we get actually here. All right, so a battle ahead. Yeah, so one of the missions I had failed, another one succeeded. Anyway, Quest in here signing off. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.